So Joe Biden's house got sort of raided by the FBI and the DOJ, his own DOJ for that matter, and it turns out we found another, a fifth set of classified documents that he kept improperly after leaving his time as a senator and as vice president of the United States. This just keeps going on and on. When you think it's over, it never is. So let's dive into the timeline and see how we got in this mess. Okay, so... Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. So most of America is aware now that President Joe Biden has a serious issue when it comes to handling classified documents, all despite the fact that he claims and his White House claims and Karine Jean-Pierre claims that he takes these documents very seriously. He takes classified information and materials seriously. He takes classified documents and information very seriously. I just want to make sure that this is understood, that he takes this very seriously. Clearly, he does not, because they found these documents not once, not twice, but five different times in places he was never supposed to have them. So it feels like a lifetime ago already, but it was only January 9th when mainstream media outlets first broke the news that President Biden was being investigated for improperly keeping classified documents with him after he left the vice president's office in the Obama administration. And this, of course, was a huge deal because Democrats and the mainstream media had spent the last several months attacking former President Donald Trump for having classified documents at his home in Mar-a-Lago. But now, the shoe's on the other foot. It turns out Joe Biden did exactly the same thing and potentially even worse things by keeping these documents in places that were far from secure compared to what President Trump had at Mar-a-Lago. So first we find out that President Biden had classified documents in his post-VP office, which was at the Penn Biden Center, part of the University of Pennsylvania, sort of this thing that was set up for him where he claims he was a professor, but he really wasn't a professor, one of many Biden lies. And so they were in his office there, but it turns out this office was not just accessed by him. It turns out these documents were in an office that not only Joe Biden had access to, but also the smartest person he knows. He is the smartest man I know. I mean, in terms of pure intellectual capacity. His son, Hunter Biden, had access to that office. And it seems like people with close ties to the Chinese Communist Party also had access to this office. Now, supposedly the documents were kept in a secure closet, but how secure can a closet be in an unsecured building when they shouldn't have been there in the first place? They should only be reviewed in a skiff, and they definitely shouldn't have been with Biden after he left the Obama administration. So this story all breaks somewhat conveniently while President Biden is down in Mexico and after ignoring questions from reporters many times about how he could have these documents when he accused President Trump of being so irresponsible to keep classified documents improperly until at a press conference down in Mexico City, he finally broke his silence and made the claim that we've all now heard way too many times. I take classified documents very seriously, like so seriously that I kept them in an office when I wasn't supposed to have them and maybe I didn't even know they were there, but I take them seriously, guys, I promise. Not a joke. So the day after President Biden breaks his silence, reassuring the American people that he takes classified documents very seriously in that press conference in Mexico City, we find out from the White House that he actually had classified documents in a second location, not just at his office in Washington, D.C. And that set him up for what has now become the saga and the full scandal of the Biden administration's inability to keep track of classified documents. The second set of documents also gave us one of the better names for this scandal, which is GarageGate, because it turns out the second set of documents that Biden kept improperly after leaving the vice president's office was in his garage at his house in Wilmington, Delaware, just in a box next to his Corvette, which is where I keep all of my classified documents. If I had a Corvette, they'd just be, you know, tucked in the glove box at least, but no. He had them wrapped in a box in packing tape sitting in his garage, which is not anywhere close to what the protocol is for keeping classified documents, even if you are supposed to have them. Now, as many Americans like us were yelling at their TV screens about how President Biden was continuing to claim that he took these classified documents very seriously. This is something that the president takes very seriously. We finally got the gift from Fox News correspondent Peter Ducey, who asked Joe Biden, what were you thinking? Classified material next to your Corvette. What were you thinking? Let me, uh, we're not going to get a chance to speak on all this, God willing, soon. But as I said earlier this week, people, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage. Okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. So the but anyway, in a garage. yes, as well as my Corvette. Um, but uh, as I said earlier this week, people know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. So while all this is going on, it turns out President Biden didn't just have classified documents at his office, he also had them in his garage. Finally, we hear from his Attorney General Merrick Garland, who announced that there's going to be a special counsel. It's just a special counsel party over at the DOJ these days, because if you remember, one was already appointed to investigate President Trump's handling of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago, and now we have a second special counsel investigating President Biden and why he had these documents both in his garage and in his office improperly. And when Merrick Garland announced the special counsel, we learned something very interesting in the timeline which was President Biden and the Department of Justice knew about these classified documents at the Penn Biden Center before the midterms last November. And yet, 
nobody told the American people until the mainstream media apparently got a hold of this and decided to report it. This is the White House that promised on day one that they would be the most transparent and most accountable administration in history. And they knew that President Biden had done the exact same thing they were attacking Trump for ahead of the midterms and just decided to keep it from us, maybe hoping we would never find out. Enter everyone's favorite know-nothing press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, who really has failed to answer any questions at all about the President Biden's mishandling of classified documents. From the day the news broke, she repeated Biden's uh, promise that he took classified documents very seriously, even though nobody was buying that, even the mainstream reporters in the briefing room. If he took these documents so seriously, why were they in his garage next to his Corvette? Why were they in so many places? and how can the White House simultaneously claim that Biden didn't know where classified documents were while also saying he takes classified material very seriously. Do you acknowledge that the fact that the White House did not reveal this to the public, despite the fact that you've known about it for months, undercuts the president's promise of being transparent with the American people? But, we, but here's the thing. They were transparent. Not there was the there people. there was transparency in doing what you're supposed to do when these when these items were discovered. Not with the American people. So Karine Jean Pierre doing what I guess is her best to answer questions by not answering any questions from the media about this situation, said on January twelfth that the search for classified documents improperly kept in Biden's possession was complete. Is the president confident? You said that the search has been completed, but is the president confident that there are no additional documents with classified markings that remain in any other additional locations. Look, uh, I can just refer you to what his team said. The search is complete. But it wasn't complete at all, it turns out. There were multiple other sets of documents yet to be found. So again, on January 12th, Karine Jean-Pierre promised that the search was complete and President Biden was confident in the outcome of that search. But then on Saturday, January 14th, we find out from the White House that there were actually more documents found in his Wilmington home. How did this happen? Well, as it turns out, the leeway that the DOJ has given the Biden administration in this case means that Biden's personal attorneys who have no security clearances are the ones carrying out the search through his home, his garage, wherever else they may be looking that we still don't know about. When they come across these classified documents, they have to stop looking and have someone who actually has a security clearance and is eligible to look at them to come in and complete the rest of the search. As it turns out, at the same time Karine Jean-Pierre was promising the American people in the briefing room that the search for classified documents was complete, there were more documents being found at his house in Wilmington, Delaware. And later on Thursday evening, when somebody with an actual security clearance went in to look, they found five more documents. So clearly, Karine Jean-Pierre is botching the White House response to this. And when reporters asked that someone from the White House counsel's office come in to answer the questions that Karine says she couldn't, they refuse, which is, again, the opposite of transparency that this administration promised us. If you are not able to talk about this from the podium, would you invite a DOJ official to take our questions here? Uh, to the briefing. No, you would have to go to the Department of Justice. That is not, it, this is a, a legal matter that is currently happening at the Department of Justice. And so in the middle of all this mess that's going on, President Biden, while he's out in California looking at storm damage, is asked again whether or not he regrets not telling the American people about the existence of these classified documents back in November when he first found out. And his response, as Biden as ever, I have no regrets. There's nothing there. I have no regrets. I'm following what the lawyers have told me they want me to do. It's exactly what we're doing. There's no there there. Thank you. Which is why, as I pointed out many times, this is a new low for this unaccountable president. Because normally, if you remember, whether it's inflation, gas prices, supply chain shortages, transportation debacles, it's always someone else's fault. But in this case, he's claiming no one is at fault because nothing wrong happened. And that's just not the case, and Americans know that. Does Joe Biden really expect us to believe that he has no regrets when he had mishandled classified documents, he hid the existence of those documents from the American people for months since before the midterms, he then admitted to having the classified documents while trying to pretend that he takes them seriously and then telling us that the search was complete when it clearly wasn't? How many more documents are we going to find and how far can this go? When are we searching the Rehoboth house? He was just there this weekend while the FBI sort of raided his house in Wilmington. When does this end and how unseriously are we going to find out that he in fact takes classified documents? This poses a huge problem for President Biden running into 2024 if he decides to run again, because now he and the rest of the Democrat Party really can't attack former President Donald Trump, who has already announced that he's running for his classified document situation when Joe Biden has done the same, if not worse, with his documents.
Well, like everything else with the administration's response to Biden's mishandling of classified documents, we have no idea because they won't tell us. And maybe we can't know. But what's notable is when the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago, they had all these pictures that they released of evidence strewn across the floor, Time magazine covers, all of that. And when the FBI and the DOJ now have raided, apparently, President Biden's Wilmington house, we didn't get any of that. And this whole thing was set up in conjunction with Biden's personal attorneys and not done by a heavily armed FBI squad that just raided Mar-a-Lago as they did in that case. And so we probably won't know what's in these documents until the special counsel is done with its report. And even then, we might not know what they actually are, because if they are classified documents, I'm not allowed to see those and neither are you. One thing that has been notable, especially how this whole story broke in the first place back at the beginning of January, is the fact that mainstream media outlets were the ones to learn about this information, even though it happened back in November. So clearly the Biden administration and the DOJ was good enough at keeping this hidden from the American people for months until all of a sudden it came out in mainstream outlets, which raises the question, who inside the West Wing knew about this and is wanting to ding Joe Biden ahead of his decision whether or not he's going to run in 2024 and who might be trying to get him out of the way so someone else in the Democrat bench could run. I think a better question would be who didn't have access to these documents because clearly they were not treated with any sort of care, being left in an unsecured office in Washington, D.C., being left in Biden's garage next to his Corvette where who knows who else was in his garage, including his son Hunter and his friends or associates, to use a delicate term for his escort lady friends. Uh, and then you have the question of, okay, they were also in his house, so who was in his house? We don't know. The White House normally keeps visitor logs of everyone who visits the West Wing here in Washington, D.C., but at his home, both in Rehoboth Beach and in Wilmington in Delaware, there are no official visitor logs, and we're supposedly to believe that there's no record of who came and went from those houses, but it looks like the Secret Service, because they need them to do their job, might have sort of an unofficial, incomplete record of who all visited Biden at his private homes, which could give a clue of who all may have had access. Well, I would feel incredibly vindicated uh, if I were President Trump in this whole situation because clearly classified documents leaving where they're supposed to be is not all that rare. And what's notable is that Biden even had classified documents from the time he was a U.S. senator, which we don't know from when in his Senate career, but that stretched for decades. So this could be something that President Biden has been doing for literally decades and we had no idea. It's just insane when you compare how Biden handles classified documents supposedly very seriously and how President Trump handled classified documents, which was taking them from the White House to his Secret Service secured Mar-a-Lago and keeping them in a room with locks on the door that were approved by the archives. I'm pretty sure the archive approved locks were not in place on the Corvette garage. So now we're supposed to believe that this is actually done and the search is actually complete, even though the FBI and the DOJ, as far as we know, have not searched Biden's home at the beach in Rehoboth. But supposedly this is actually complete for now. And in the off chance that we do a repeat now of the last two weekends where we find out more documents were held, we will see you again when the next tranche of documents is found somewhere in a cave, in a dumpster, somewhere improper with all the latest on how Joe Biden does not in fact take classified documents very seriously.